Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Right, I think where I was at last time, I was just finishing off the house and I've killed the King Elk. Um, now, I'm going to try to get me a floor in this episode, which is a bit tricky in this area because there's not only as many of them around, but there wasn't a desert area, but they're tougher. They're generally just better fighters. See, I locked this up. That last view I've got out of my garden. There's the floor base there. I reckon I can capture it some from one of the I think it's going to be a hard slog to bring them home. Okay, let's venture down to where the uh, trawls, I believe, are. It's very dangerous down here, though. I've sort of looked around here before. It's a very dangerous area. It's like snakes and killer snakes and all sorts of things like this down here. This comes out to somewhere out there, doesn't it? Is it there? That might be an interesting place there. Good point. Back at you, certainly. So there's floors down here somewhere. That's what I can see. The entrance back. Try to avoid crazy cobras. Snake spins cobras up. Oh, Shouldn't poison you when you die. Leave them down there and run this way. What about you fighting? Out shoot each other. Cheers, Scorpion. I'm going to go over there and try to dress all the uh, snake skin or whatever it is I can get from the snake off that Scorpion. I've got a task at hand and it's to get me a full. Let's continue to look around here. Right, I appear to have found me a little fawn company here. Let's check this guy out. Archer. Oh, Oh, it's real away from these guys. Oh, 
of one of these weird creatures away from like big sort of dog people. But uh, yeah, quite powerful. So I had to fight one and so that, so that, so that was so easy. Good. Come with me, dead or alive. Right now, what I plan to do is drag him back home. I'm putting the slave pen, and then once I get him on that, I will actually make another slave pen and see if I can come back and grab another one. So it looks like another, there might be more of these guys around here. This one there, yep, the one there. All right, so I'm gonna do that. This is dragging back. I want because um, you can't run. I think you can run these. Oh no, wait, you can. Brilliant. Um, so I'm gonna run him back and come back out again. But you don't you want to watch me run all over back through the desert, dragging this poor thing out through the desert? Look at him. Ah, what the fuck, man? Come on. Take him back. Okay. Just knocked myself out to someone else, and they appear to be a carpenter. You can get, you can knock out things like blacksmiths, carpenters, and all sorts of things like cooks, and they will just do your stuff for you. I believe. I think that's how pretty much it works. So you can leave them, I'll train them up, and, and stick them by the carpenter bench. And he will sit and do things for me, and it will, um, I think, speed up basically the progression of stuff and how it's as quickly it's done and stuff, and the quality of it. So I'm going to take him back and throw him into the slave pen, and then I'm going to think my other guy is almost done. So then I want to do is run out and grab one more full of defense. Where is the base? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So I've made some modifications to my base. So you can see I've blocked up the entrance there. I'm going this way now. Yeah. Move to my main base. Up here, down here. I'm going to seal that up as well. I'll find that filler in there. I'm going to then block up that entrance. You can see I've bricked all this out and I've got me carpenter going there. So what I'll do is I think I'll leave it there. So, okay then, brilliant. Um, until next time. Thanks for joining me and bye for now. Goodbye.